Welcome back guys. We're going to be doing some more stuff, but I'm going to be doing it in digestible chunks because it's cruising season. I don't want this thing to be down. So everything I do, I'm going to make sure I can get it done in one sitting. Now, the next thing that's going to make the biggest difference for this car is all the way at the back, the panhard rod. I showed you that a few videos back. That thing has got slop for days and that's pretty, pretty sure that's what's steering the rear of the car a bit as you're going down the road. Anyways, uh, I'm going to dig into that. We're going to get that uh, job done and make this thing a little better, a little bit at a time. So let's dig in. So here's the parts that we're using. These came from Energy Suspension. These supposedly are the correct bushings for that panard rod or track bar. So Energy Suspension parts, they're harder than the factory rubber stuff. We're going to go back to the back of the car and get this thing jacked up. Now the car's jacked up, we got good access to the track bar run side to side. Uh, my eyeball says about three quarter inch, and we got to grab an open end wrench because you got to go in through that little hole. That guy should be pretty easy. That one's a bit bigger. Hmm. Anyways, we'll grab the big sockets, we'll grab the impact, we'll knock these guys off. So as you can see, some percussive effort. That guy did not budge. We're gonna have to work on this a little bit harder. Let me uh, do some figuring off camera. We'll come back to you. So I finally got it out. That side had to come out in three pieces. I had to cut up one side, cut up the other side because the bolt is actually rusted to the uh, inner metal sleeve. But you can see how shot those bushings are. Now I'm gonna get those out and get the new ones pressed in and uh, you know, Clean this up, throw some paint on it. All right, so as you can see, this is now mostly one color. I'll take care of the last little bit in a second. So here's the polyurethane bushings we're using. I've put a little grease in the bore because that's just something you ought to do when you put bushings in. I did remove the original um, bushing shell. And as you can see, they just push right in, nice and smooth. Now, energy suspension has their own goop, this stuff that you're supposed to apply to the bores of the polyurethane bushings so that way the metal part, the metal cylinder right here, does its job correctly. So we're going to peel the top off this guy. We're going to put a bit in there. They give you a fair bit, so, you know, be generous about it. Some is good, more is better. Too much is just right, right? If you can't say that, you're not using enough. Anyway, so I'm going to drop it on the floor. I'm going to take my bushing bar here. I'm going to make sure that I have put this on the uh, side that I greased it on. Ugh. With the handy dandy vise right here, we're just going to open up. And don't worry about these mismatched color spots. My paint can was empty. I've got some more. But we'll take care of that in a minute. So we're just going to, just like that. And it squeezes out a whole bunch on the back side. That's totally okay. Not a big deal. And let's do the other side. Smear it around just a little bit. Apply a little bit more because it seems like a good idea. And yep. The grease they give you is very specific to the polyurethane bushings and it's kind of uh, sticky. So, oh, that one almost goes right in. Anywho. Always grease the holes, guys. Always grease them. So, that's that. We got bushings pressed in. I'm going to go with a little bit more paint in these places because my old can was empty. And, uh, yeah, we'll go put this back on the car. And just to let you know, I did have to cut the bolt out of this side. Uh, the bolt itself was corroded to the little metal sleeve. So I had to cut up both sides to get the track bar out. I've got some new hardware I'm going to put in. 
I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the mating surfaces both there and over here so that way the track bar goes in like it's supposed to. Ignore my finger there for a moment. And let's get this guy back in. As you can see, it's now installed. You did see I had to use the uh, percussive maintenance device and uh, just whatever thing I had laying around, which was the air hammer. I had the blunt point on it so I could kind of get in there and wiggle it around to get it aligned. But uh, yeah, we're in, we're torqued to a couple of ugga duggas. You know the spec, guys. So anyways, let me get this uh, off jack stands and uh, we'll see how much play this has got now. Okay, guys, I've got... Uh, we're back on the ground, let's wiggle the bumper. Oh good. Panard rod doesn't move at all. Everything that's uh, moving around is kind of, you know, in the tire sidewall. Kind of go like this, you can watch the sidewall move around a little bit. That track bar does not move. So I'd call that a success. Track bar's done, some new bushings, new hardware. I think that thing's going to drive very differently now. But, uh, you know, we're just we're going to work on that at a time. It's kind of a off and on rainy kind of day. And, you know, that's a fair weather car. Not that I'm afraid to get anything wet, but, you know, we got stuff to do. I'm going to slowly piece through this thing one bit at a time. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys later.